hi happy friday everyone i hope you're having a great friday welcome it's rebecca packard we are taking time out for peace we're showing up every day for four minutes of peace we're holding intention together we're setting a foundation of focus a ritual a practice that we are able to show up to and hold each other accountable for each and every day we take four minutes out at 2 p.m. Eastern to hold this intention together to reset, regroup, reground, redirect our thoughts, to take a few minutes out to just return to self, to take a few minutes in our afternoon to just settle back into our own energy. We're hosting this Tuesday through Friday live right here on Facebook, Periscope, Instagram, you name it, we're on it because this is simulcasted. So if you're checking us out from one location, make sure you go to Rebecca Packard Live Free at Facebook where this is live streamed from um, and then simulcasted out to other spaces because that's the only space I can actually read your comments from. Otherwise, I don't see your comments until after. Um, but I always try and touch base with you. So, welcome. If this is your first time, we hold this intention Tuesday through Friday live. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we're setting our alarms for 2 p.m. Eastern and holding intention together in that space. And if you're not able to make it live, we ask that you set your alarm during the week and Hold intention with us even if you're not able to be live because like energy connects with life energy. We're still creating a ripple. We're still casting that stone into the space of returning to self, touching collective consciousness through peace, vibration, and just settling in so we can be focused for our afternoon. This is a beautiful ritual to really gain the sense and perspective of what you want your afternoon to look like. So maybe you want to harness the energy of the morning and keep that going. And maybe you're like, nope, and you want to just reboot and go in a completely different direction. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, we're going to ask that you get settled, get grounded, <sighs> take a few breaths, we're going to focus on peace. So whether you're utilizing breath meditation, mudra, mala, mantra, we're going to ask that you get settled, get grounded, and focus on peace.
fantastic. I'm so glad that you're taking time out today for yourself to show up for yourself, to show up to reset, regroup, reground, redirect your thoughts, to show up in your true energy as your true self in the way that is in alignment with who you are and who you want to be and how you want to be recognized in this world. If you're following me on Instagram at Rebecca Packard NH, you saw my post today about self-care and self-worth and showing up and really treating yourself. And as we're going into the weekend, it's important that we take this time out. We're in a really crazy moon phase here. We've got Mercury retrograde, full moon, blood moon, moon in Aquarius. Uh, like all these things are going on. There's a lot of things going on. Um, we have like six planets in retrograde along with Mercury and this is actually called the Thunder Moon or the Buck Moon that we are in right now. And just taking the time to really settle into the space of like we have the dog days of summer, like literally the dog star is still in the space of activation. It's not 100% now, but it's definitely still activated. And so just being able to honor yourself in the space of slowing down, showing up for self, utilizing self-care, seeing what's looping for you right now. I find that's a big one. A lot of people are reliving lessons that they haven't either broken the cycle on or they haven't wanted to acknowledge. Um, lots of repeat patterns, lots of like things that are coming up and really intense, frustration's a big one. Um, and just coming to a space where you're showing up, maybe you're journaling on those things, maybe you are acknowledging them and just saying, you know what, let the highest and best good come from this. Um, and maybe you're in complete denial and you're finding it and creating more resistance so that next year at the exact same time you can do the same thing. Either way, we hope that you're taking the time out to at least pour into yourself. I post a really beautiful photo of this amazing um, tub for a detox tub on my Instagram and it was laden with um, amethyst and rose quartz hearts and everything and it was actually um, a share from Magical Earth and it's such a beautiful detox tub and I was like Yes, I'm going to be doing this later, um, and I usually do the crystals, salts, oils, the whole nine yards, which is fantastic, but I notice that so many people are not doing things like this, they're not taking the time, and as we're moving into the weekend, what not, why not, it's the perfect time to get ready for the weekend by showering yourself in some love, by showing up for yourself. It doesn't make you selfish, it doesn't make you... Um, like you're not too busy for it, it doesn't make you be taking away from somebody else, all it does is it gives you more fuel to show up more fully for others. I am so excited because tonight we're going to be doing a moon release, um, Val White and myself, if you don't know who the Val White is, go to Instagram, type in the Val White and follow him because we are going to be doing a full moon release, he's going to be guiding us in some beautiful guided meditations while I do a focused emotion code moon release release on not only the moon and the full moon energy, but we're going to work on the eclipse and Mercury retrograde. So there's a lot going on, like I said, in this moon, and I love the moon. I love the shirt too. Um, it just got last night. And showing up and healing the spaces of these moons is so incredible. The power that has come from these releases, I've been doing these releases for a little while, I've only made them public over the new moon and this full moon and they're going to be public from now on and they are incredible. Every single person who's experienced them has said they've noticed the shift within five minutes, they've noticed massive things 24, 48, 72 hours later, massive shifts and so if you don't know about these and you want to learn more about them, go to my Instagram, Rebecca Packard and H, go to my link in the bio. You can sign up. There's only two spots left. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see everyone tonight because the group of people who's coming together to do this is going to be incredible. And um, just remember to take time for self. This moon is a really about acknowledging the spaces that are coming back. This moon's about showing up fully. A lot of people want to set intentions and everything, but we need to set the space of release. We need to set the space of healing, set the space of letting go of what no longer serves us. This is going to be a pivotal moon for that because like... Um, the thunder, everything is converging right now. There's a lot of impact taking place. There are lots of big 
booms taking place in a lot of people's lives and we need to acknowledge that the way that we would a thunderstorm. They come in fast, they come in quick, they show up and they're loud and just taking the time out to see it in the space of what it is is really, really, really necessary so that you don't end up in that space again. So you're not repeating the pattern. So you're not continuing the cycle. So you're not continuing what doesn't serve you, right? And so I hope you guys all have an amazing moon. Enjoy the eclipse. The a moon was incredible this morning, and I know it's going to be incredible tonight. So if you're not able to head outside and check it out. I know lots of people will be posting pictures. They've already been posting pictures. Hello, Carol. Yay. Um, I hope it's a beautiful day on Deering Lake. Um, and so take that time out to really enjoy. Step out, put your feet on the ground. Maybe you're at the beach, you can put your feet in the sand. Maybe you're at the lake, you can put your feet in the water. Or you're able to just stand outside on the lawn and just soak up being connected to the earth and checking out the moon and just letting go of what no longer serves you. I hope to see you tonight. Thank you for joining us. As I always say, I love you, love you, love you for showing up and taking time out for yourself because the more we take responsibility for our own energy, our own emotions, and our own self-worth and our own self-acceptance and our own self-love, the more that we can give that to other people, show up for other people, and pour into other people. And that is magic in this world, right? So I will see you again live on Tuesday. I'll be holding space with you Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And have a beautiful weekend.